I will be telling you about a three-dimensional noise vector seismometer that has been built as part of a project to explore ways to provide an early earthquake warning system. The project begins with a tremendous need. In the last century, hundreds of thousands of people have been killed and millions have been maimed and injured in earthquakes. This year alone, 9,000 were killed in Nepal. The developed world has all already forgotten about the 2010 Haiti earthquake that killed 316,000 and seriously injured over 300,000. Earthquakes disproportionately affect the poor because poor people live and work in substandard buildings that are more likely to collapse. The majority of people killed and injured in earthquakes are killed by the collapse of the building around them. Previous attempts at earthquake prediction have revolved around searching for the precursor tremor events, radon gas emissions from the ground, electrical conductivity measurements, and even animal behavior studies. All of these studies have been without any success at all so far. This project begins with the idea that there may be very low intensity seismic noise generated by rock deformation in the minutes before a major slippage of a seismic fault. The problem with this is that it involves trying to identify a very weak signal buried within a constant seismic background noise floor. The Earth is in constant motion. The background noise is constantly arriving from all over the Earth. But noise is noise, right? Well, not necessarily so. As arriving noise interacts with the local geology, it's refracted, reflected, shaped, and funneled by it. This is the basis of seismological oil exploration. If we can define with statistics what is normal noise in a given geological location, we should be able to rapidly identify a new local noise source. This project is therefore to build a seismic instrument specifically and only to extract specific statistical information from the seismic noise and rapidly generate a value that can detect new and uncharacteristic noise. The requirements for this device are that it needs to be ultra sensitive yet not generate a significant amount of noise itself, and that it must be able to extract and model spatial information from the seismic noise. We're talking about noise direction and amplitude, in other words, vector mass. We wanted to build a vector seismometer, basically, that over a period of many hours or days can create a probability matrix to define a local model of the noise floor in terms of apparent direction and amplitude. This device constantly monitors seismic noise and it continuously compares each new vector to the probability model. Based upon a running average of 100 data points, it constantly generates a variable that reflects the, the statistical normalcy of what is actually currently happening. Please refer to the project files for information about its theory, construction, and our progress so far. At this point, we can say that the device is indeed sensitive, robust, and in our test model, is clearly able to separate new seismic frequency noise from the background noise. More work needs to be done to develop a field deployable model of this instrument and test it in seismically active regions.